Well, the Japan has now contracted for the uh, second quarter in a row. Um, a lot of this came out at the G20, right? We have to remember there was a G20. They do talk about economics. Uh, Japan is now in its fourth recession in six years, despite the Abe economics. And in uh, G20 uh, Brisbane, Australia, we have Cameron of Britain warning that the world economy could be headed towards disaster. Right? We have to see why he says this. But six years on from the financial crash that brought the world to its knees, red warning lights are once again flashing on the dashboard of the global economy, writes Cameron in The Guardian this past Monday. We'll come back to economics and finance in just a minute on World Crisis Radio. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for $35,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet for $35,000. Manufacturing if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for 129000 You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Call 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. We all know that Berkey Water Purification Systems are the most trusted name in water filtration. As an authorized Berkey dealer for over six years and serving thousands of satisfied customers, the Berkey Guy offers amazing specials for Berkey Water Filtration Systems. The Berkey Light Systems include a set of self-sterilizing and recleanable black purification elements that purify water by removing chlorine, pathogenic bacteria, cysts and parasites to non-detectable levels and remove harmful chemicals such as herbicides and pesticides. Order the Berkey Light System System today complete with two black Berkey elements for only $231 and the Berkey guy will ship your order free of charge. With the purchase of a Berkey light, the Berkey guy is also offering a set of fluoride and arsenic filters for only $39.99. That's over 30% off the retail price. Call the Berkey guy at 1-877-886-3653. That's 1-877-886-3653 or order online at goberkey.com. That's goberkey.com today. We live in a complicated society. Stressful issues are always popping up. Have you ever been treated unfairly by someone? Have you ever been overcharged for a repair? Have you ever signed a contract or a document? Worried about identity theft? How many times have you been in those unique situations where you just wanted to call an attorney to find out if you're right or wrong or what your legal rights are? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what do you think about first? That's right. Who do you call and how much will it cost? Our friends at Legal Shield have found a solution. With a nationwide network of 6,900 attorneys who average over 19 years of experience, Legal Shield's law firms take over 40,000 calls per week helping their members. For less than $20 per month, you can have access to Legal Shield on everything from the trivial to the traumatic. Let Legal Shield stand up for your rights at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Or call 855 340 SAVE. 855 340 7283. Results will vary from case to case. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional 
installation. You control what you watch when you watch it. Record your favorite shows, pause and rewind live TV, even skip the commercials. Watch local channels too. At just $19.99, what are you waiting for? Pull out your major credit or debit card. Call 1-855-905-MYTV. 1-855-905-MYTV. Say goodbye to the cable guy. Cut costs and get more. 1-855-905-MYTV. 1-855-905-MYTV. The nation's largest independently owned and operated talk radio network. The Genesis Communications Network. G C. Welcome back to World Crisis Radio, our final segment here in our pre-Thanksgiving program. Happy Thanksgiving to all um, the world economy. So uh, the word now is that Japan is in another uh, recession. Europe is in recession, and there are always reports of a slowdown in China. I think by now some of these are at least partially true, although... China, I think, not as badly off as some other places. In Europe, the unemployment rate in the European Union now 11.5%. Europe experiencing conditions that some economists say echo the Great Depression. Um, stagnation and political paralysis in Europe. Cameron once again says the Eurozone. He's saying not the pound zone, but the Eurozone. But it's true enough. Teetering on the brink of a possible third recession with high unemployment, falling prices, and the real risk of, of um, fall, failing growth and the high risk of falling prices, too. Now, they're talking about deflation. Uh, Mark Carney says, this is the head of the Bank of England now, uh, a specter is haunting Europe, the specter of economic stagnation, deflation, stagflation. Lagarde, the risk of a new mediocre in Europe. Uh, Draghi, we'll get to Draghi in a minute. Uh, Draghi warning again that monetary policy alone cannot do it. We'll, we'll see about that. Uh, in Japan, they have now shrunk by 1.6% in the second quarter. And here's, here's a good quote that I think sums it all up. It comes from Peter Tasker, a student of the Japanese economy, and he's pro-Abe. The numbers are absolutely awful, beyond description awful. It's clear that the tax hikers and the fiscal hawks have tanked the economy. All of this from the Tuesday, uh, November 18th, uh, Washington Post. And similar things in the in the uh, responding to uh, the G20 in the Wall Street Journal also on Tuesday, November uh, 18th. Uh, and this it's interesting how they talk about it. Abe says we have grasped the chance to rid ourselves of deflation. We must not give it up. So the idea. Japan remains mired in deflation. European Union also in deflation, right? And this was the big, the big thing from ABBA was that he was going to break out of almost 20 years of deflation and stagflation. Uh, the uh, the the uh, monetary easing. The Bank of Japan has just uh, declared big monetary easing. They're under attack for being too slow. Now, let's look at Europe in particular. You'll see why this is the case. Draghi, Mario Draghi of Goldman Sachs, uh, says he hopes that the European Central Bank is close to backing more aggressive monetary easing. This is all hot money, okay? He says there's low inflation and sluggish growth. It could mean deflation, obviously. He does not uh, he rejects criticism of bond buying. Uh, that would at least be something. But here's what he's doing. The European Central Bank has started to buy bundles of loans repackaged as asset-backed securities. They bought 10.5 billion euros worth 
of covered bonds last week. Now he says, Draghi says, European Central Bank could buy corporate debt sovereign bonds early next year. Inflation in Europe is only 0.4% per, per year. He wants to get it back to 2% a year without delay. And this is the problem now. You're seeing it. Every, the stimulus they're trying is yet another hot money stimulus. It won't work. Here are the kinds of stimulus. There's monetary, okay? Print money, central bank. That's a lot of this is that. There is, of course, fiscal. Run a big deficit. They're not doing that because the, uh, the neoliberal consensus has fought through. And then there's credit stimulus. We want credit stimulus. European Central Bank, Bank of Japan, United States Federal Reserve, each of you, open a credit stimulus window for infrastructure, for space, for high energy physics, for biomedical research, finance, lucrative, money-making projects, infrastructure, of course, money-making for the whole economy, and do that. The United States, $5 trillion, I guess Europe, probably five or six trillion euros, Japan, similar amount. Rebuild your entire infrastructure for the 21st century. Japanese bullet trains are now 30, 40, 50 years old. Same thing for French DGV. Build the next generation. Put it all into the real economy. Don't waste your money on asset-backed securities. The entire lesson of the Federal Reserve Program in uh, – in, uh, the, the stimulus, right? First the stimulus and then QE, one, two, three. Three to four trillion dollars of bankrupt, rotten derivatives now on the Federal Reserve balance sheet. It doesn't work. It's pushing on a string. Monetary has been tried and failed. Fiscal tried and failed. Now, try credit stimulus. My program, the infrastructure window, the Main Street window, the real economy window, with boxcar numbers. It is the theoretical basis coming, of course, from the Wojtynski Lautenbach consensus in 1932 that if Germany was going to break out of a Great Depression, which was deflationary in those days, you only can do that if you start buying the bonds, right? The European Central Bank could start buying the bonds of North Rhine Westphalia and Hessen and the uh, RATP this thing that runs the Paris Metro, and similarly the Regione Lazio, you know the idea, Regione Lombardia, those guys issue 0% 100-year bonds, and pow, the shovel-ready projects are trotted out, and an economic recovery occurs. So we're going to be following that, right? Draghi is repeating terrible mistakes. Now, um, what else do we have? Um, the, um, we have to remember that the, the, tre the treachery of Ron Paul, uh, little Rand, Rand Paul this time, uh, betrayed once again on the National Security Agency oversight that was built into the reauthorization of parts of the Patriot Act. Little Rand voted to prevent debate. <laughs> so betrayed you once again, didn't he? Drones, yes. Drones, no. NSA, he's against it, but he doesn't do anything. Even Cruz is willing to have a debate on that. Uh, there is the Gruber issue. I suspect next week we're going to have a um, an early taping because of the Thanksgiving holiday. We're going to discuss the Gruber issue. Is the American public stupid? I would say there is false consciousness. There is alienation, reification, fetishism, and so forth. We'd like to go through that. Um, and then um, let's let's conclude some interesting notes, right? The first declared Democratic candidate. This is James Webb, former secretary, undersecretary of the Navy, former senator from Virginia. I actually know him. I went to his house. He used to have an apartment above the, um, the Marine Corps monument there, uh, the Iwo Jima Memorial. Anyway, he's now the first one out of the gate with an uh, exploratory committee. And here's what I think. He is a stalking horse for Hillary. I can't tell whether he's a left-wing or a right-wing stalking horse for Hillary. I see that Begala... Of the of the the Clinton uh, faction, Begala says he's an authentic war hero, and the idea is on the one side he says there's too much uh, income inequality, and on the other side he says there's too much 
uh, uh, government interference. He's talking out of both sides of his mouth, uh, anti-Wall Street, anti-government. I suspect that they're going to retool him from for whatever uh, direction the challenge might come. I think it's, it's uh, supposed to create an illusion that he's uh, to the left of Hillary, and he would then be a uh, 